What we see here is a combination of technologies, custom drone with cell phone detection for advanced search and rescue. Recently, I was asked to uh, join Michael May and he had uh, formed a new corporation, Carson Technologies, after the tragic loss of his son, Carson, to an avalanche. He was very frustrated in the search and rescue efforts to find his son and couldn't get technology in fast enough. I had the privilege at the Peggy Smedley Institute to present on a, a panel talking about uh, search and rescue. You could see uh, Peggy along with myself, along with Michael May. And normally this technology, the Wolfhound Pro, which is coupled to the bottom of this drone, is used for government agencies. The same is true in correction facilities where contraband cell phones are smuggled in. Some of that footage was taken from coupling our cell phone detection engine to his custom-made drone so they could quickly locate a trapped victim, perhaps under the snow, by calling their phone. And when the phone's transmitting back to the cell tower, the base station, we could pick that up, hone in, and quickly find them and dig them out. On the bottom screen, what you'll notice there is a, a cell phone detected there with a pretty strong signal strength with the bar growing there on the left and the frequency indicated. If you look close to the top there, you can actually see the, the uh, IR imaging there so you can determine if there's actually any objects that are heated, which usually is a, is a person or an animal, which will stand out, or a, a heat source. In rural areas, you can get an altitude of about 1,500 feet we've achieved above the target, looking for either, again, a heat signature, or in this case, you can look for a strong uh, cell phone signal. We've actually determined that there is a strong signal transmitting below somebody's phone toward the bottom of the screen, up toward the center now, that white dot that's moving. And there, we can see the particular frequency that it's transmitting at and can hone in on the actual subject target because we have direction finding antenna. And this makes search and rescue very effective because you don't have to worry about deploying a lot of people in a dangerous situation, be it an avalanche or fire, and you could take a drone in pretty close and quickly find your target subject that has a mobile phone on them if it's transmitting.